Hello everyone, my name is Maged Gerges. I'm an assistant professor of design and structural technology and McCarty Holsapel McCarty endowed professor at the College of Architecture and Design at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. I'm also the director of Soft Boundaries Lab. I'm very excited to present our latest research on uh, hybrid bending active systems, uh, a novel application of carbon fiber and lightweight structures. So the recent development of bending active structure has broadened the opportunities for exploration into the design of efficient, lightweight, and bending active structure systems. Moreover, the use of uh, carbon fiber reinforced polymers, or also known as CFRP, have expanded significantly in recent years. CFRP is a lightweight material with exceptional high strength to stiffness ratio, rendering it ideal for bending active application. For our research, uh, we were examined the fabrication method of physical structure scale models for the study of a hybrid CFRP uh, bending at the structure with thin size structure and analysis of the forces of the internal stresses of each component. The procedure includes computation form finding, simulation, finite analysis, and the fabrication of techniques for lightweight long span roof structure prototype. So uh, a little bit of background, bending active system structure can define as a class of lightweight structural elements that utilizes the elastic deformation of naturally straight or flat elements, usually sheets or rod, uh, to achieve curved geometries. And throughout the history, we can find uh, many vernacular precedents um, of the bending active construction. For this research, the preliminary design workflow of the structure utilizes the both physical and digital form finding. Uh, the computation form finding uh, simulation, we used a static initial model as a target for the finite element analysis. Uh, for the form finding, uh, computation form finding uses, uh, first we start a nerve surface in Rhino, uh, and then we added the additional uh, axial stiffness, we created higher analysis model uh, using grasshopper in kangaroo. Uh, and then uh, we use the parametric bending uh, by contracting the cable uh, to simulate both the hybrid uh, cable and the plates and also the tensile uh, membrane. So additional cable can be added to the system which keep the plates from being pulled inwards. Uh, therefore, the simulation of the forces within the plates uh, with a coplanar with the surfaces added to represent the tensile membrane. Uh, so, uh, you can see the design features tensile membrane connecting to the plate, each structural unit designed to provide not only cover for the, 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 for the roof, but also uh, its lateral stiffness inherit the bending active uh, properties. On the right side, you can see the finite element analysis uh, of the plate and also the principal stresses within the tensile membrane. For bending active plate uh, prototype, we used, uh, tested the fiber reinforced polymers or FRP, uh, which there is a wide ra a range of mechanical properties for the carbon fiber, uh, comparing the fiber architecture, whether chopped uh, fabric or on the uh, unidirectional, uh, or also the grades, whether standard modulus or immediate modulus or high modulus. Uh, for this design, we're proposing a new uh, cable integrated plate design and the hybrid design. The cable itself uh, is what actuates the, the bending of the structure. So it is function similar to a bow where you're pulling the cable uh, brings the two ends of the plate closer together, uh, making the, the, the bending prototype. In the configuration of the CFRP plate, a singular cable acts as both truss and the tension cable, uh, and the figure shows the routing for the cable. So in the fabrication, uh, there were two changes made that we uh, used the protruded CFRP flat bar stock, uh, and then also a, the digital model of the trusses allowed for spacing um, the length calculation of the cable and the beams. After assembly and fixing both ends of the cable, the, the beam formed an arc shape that becomes fixed and pre-stressed uh, plate. So in conclusion, we consider this research as a first step toward a novel, fully integrated approach of a hybrid bending active high performance structure system that uh, enabled an, uh, an insight into the possibility of bending active application for the future of lightweight structure. The work presented in this paper demonstrates a new potential for carbon fiber reinforced polymers and uh, realizing uh, the curved structure elements uh, through active bending. The high flexibility to strength ratio uh, for the plates paired with the current customization of potential fiber technology provides an ideal material for the elastic deformation. 
The preliminary tests showed that the addition of cables achieves stable deformation and uh, increased pan range and bending active members under loads. Also, the proposed design features a continuous cable system wherein a single tension cable is threaded through the plate and back itself. Ideally, this produces even more stable bending uh, actuation uh, and reduces the number of individual members uh, of connection as needed. Also, the addition of the tensile membrane um, that stretched between the members uh, was tested not as a deformation member but also to create a hybrid system that can increase the lateral stiffness and improve the stability of the structure. Uh, this process overcomes the historic unpredictability of bending active behavior and structural performance of pre-bent elements, enable designers to accurately use computation form finding and analysis to generate the models that go beyond the bending behavior alone. So, and for future uh, scaling consideration, while this research demonstrates the conceptual viability of bending active of hybrid uh, tensile structure, of lightweight structure, this also opens the door for future investigation of, uh, regarding full-scale uh, application. Uh, I would like to thank research assistants uh, Alex Stiles and John Michael Worsham for their work in this project. Also graduate uh, students Gazelle El Baclini and uh, Quang Tran for their contribution to this project. I would like to thank University of Tennessee College of Architecture and Design and Tickle College of Engineering, East Tennessee Infrastructure, and the Advanced Composite Engineering Fiber and Composite Manufacturing Facility for supporting this research. I also would like to thank Oak Ridge National Lab for uh, providing the uh, CRFP material for our testing and the International Association of Shell and Spatial Structure Conference and Organizing Committee and the uh, University of Surrey. Uh, thank you for joining me today and looking forward to meeting uh, you at the conference.